In this video, we are going to have a practice problem in related rates in relation with circle, sphere, inflated balloon, and melting snowball problem. So let's have an example. On number 1, the radius of a circle is increasing at 5 cm per minute. On letter A, how fast is the circumference of the circle changing when the radius is 10 cm? And on letter B, how fast is the area of the circle changing when the radius is 8 cm? So let us identify first the given. Since the radius of a circle is increasing at 5 cm per minute, and that is dr over dt, that's 5 cm per minute. On letter A, how fast is the circumference of the circle changing when the radius is 10 cm? And we are looking for dc over dt. That is the change of the circumference with respect to time. And the formula of the circumference of the circle, that is c, is 2 pi r. And we are going to differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to time. The derivative of c with respect to time, that is dc over dt. And since 2 pi is a constant, we are going to have 2 pi based on the constant multiple rule and the derivative of r that's 1 and then dr over dt. So let us simplify. We have dc over dt equals 2 pi and dr over dt that's 5 centimeters per minute. So therefore, dc over dt that is 10 pi centimeters per minute and this will be our answer and on letter b how fast is the area of the circle changing when the radius is 8 centimeters so this time we are looking for dA over dt and the formula for the area of the circle that is area equals pi r square and then let us differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to time. The derivative of a with respect to time, that is dA over dt. And then pi is a constant, we are going to write that. And the derivative of r squared, that is 2r, then dr over dt. So let us have 2 pi and then r, that is 8. And then dr over dt, that's 5 centimeters per minute so this one is a centimeter so therefore we have 2 multiplied by 8 that's 16 times 5 so we are going to have 80 pi and then centimeter times centimeter that's centimeter square then per minute so therefore dA over dt that is 80 pi centimeters square per minute and this will be our answer on number 2, air is pumped into a spherical balloon at the rate of 450 cubic centimeter per minute. How fast is the radius of the balloon changing when the radius is 10 centimeters? So let us identify the given. Let us have radius that is 10 centimeters. And then, since cubic is being used as the unit in our given, it will give us the idea that dv over dt that is 450 centimeter cube per minute because volume is always expressed in cubic units and the formula for the volume of the sphere that is volume equals 4 third pi r cube so let us differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to time in order for us to find dr over dt the derivative of v with respect to time, that is dv over dt. And since 4 third pi is a constant, we are going to have 4 third pi based on the constant multiple rule. And then the derivative of r cubed, that is 3 r square dr over dt. So let us cancel 3. Let us have dv over dt, that is 400. 50 centimeter cube per minute 
and then sub 4 pi radius that is 10 centimeters then square dr over dt so let us write 450 centimeter cube per minute and then let us sub 4 pi 10 centimeter raised to 2 that is 100 centimeter square dr over dt then let us multiply this one let us write 450 centimeter cube per minute 4 pi multiplied by 100 centimeter square that is 400 pi centimeter square dr over dt and then let us divide both sides by 400 pi centimeter square let us cancel this one therefore dr over dt we can write 450 over 400 as 9 over 8 then pi because they are divisible by 50 and then cubic divide by centimeter square that is centimeter per minute and this will be our answer on number three the surface area of a spherical melting snowball is decreasing at the rate of 2 square centimeters per minute. Find the rate at which the diameter when the radius of the snowball is 5 centimeters. So let us identify the given. Since the surface of the spherical melting snowball is decreasing, it will give us the idea that the change of the surface area with respect to time is negative. So therefore, the SA over DT that is negative 2 centimeters square per minute. And then we have a radius that is 5 centimeters. And we are looking for the change in diameter with respect to time. In order for us to do that, let us find the value of the diameter. Since diameter is twice the radius, we are going to have 2R. So let us have 2 times radius that is 5 centimeters so therefore the diameter is 10 centimeters and the formula for the surface area of the sphere that is surface area equals 4 pi r square and then let us change the value of r with respect to diameter and time so to find the value of r, we are not going to substitute the value of r, that's 5. Instead, we are going to have d equals 2r. Let us divide both sides by 2. So radius, that is d over 2. So let us have surface area equals 4 pi and then d over 2 square d over dt so let us have surface area equals 4 pi we have d square over 4 d over dt so let us cancel 4 let us have sa or surface area equals pi d square and then this time, we are going to differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to time. So the derivative of surface area with respect to time, that is dSA over dt equals pi, that is a constant. We are going to write that. And the derivative of d square, that is 2d, d, d over dt. So let us substitute the given. So the value of d s a over d t that is negative two centimeter square per minute, and then we have two pi, and the diameter that is ten centimeters, and then d d over d t. So let us cancel two, and it will give us negative one centimeter square per minute equals ten pi centimeters d d over dt and then let us divide both sides by 10 pi centimeter 
Let's cancel this one. So therefore, dd over dt, that is negative 1 centimeter squared divided by centimeter, that is centimeter over 10 pi per minute. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. If you like this video, just like and subscribe and to be updated to my next tutorial lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.